Oops. How to do V sit up, V up, jackknife, ball pass, ab workout. I'm going to take you through an ab workout that I do to build up my, my abs, my lower upper, my core. This even can build up your leg muscles also and also help you to strengthen your um, abductors, tighten the hips, tighten the glutes. So I'm going to take you through the exercise that I do and um, you can use a medicine ball you can use yoga ball even a tennis ball just as long as you can squeeze it between your legs all right so you're gonna start off laying on your back putting that medicine ball in between your legs and just like a jackknife sit up or a V up you're gonna come up put the ball between your legs squeeze it together go back up and catch the ball and come back down if you notice my uh, when I'm coming down my leg doesn't touch the ground right but the ball touches the floor when I'm going backwards Remember when your ball comes between your legs, you want to squeeze as tight as possible. That will work on your adductor muscles as well as working on your butt, glutes, work on your um, leg muscles, your thighs. So this is a excellent workout for your core and to strengthen your abductors and your hips and your legs. And also this will help you to do those kicks, you know, help you to hold your kicks out there. But that's all core strength. You know, that's all the hip flexing, core strength, abductors to hold that leg out when you're doing a kick and to have strength and power in your kicking also. So this is an excellent exercise for that. So remember you want to just go down, catch the ball and you don't want your foot to touch the ground. You want to go as close to the ground as you can and you want to keep those knees straight, both knees are straight. And you're going up in a V, reaching up and grab that ball. Magic, <laughs> switch the ball in you. All right, so you're coming all the way up when you're doing this exercise. You want to meet with the ball. You don't want to be like halfway down and then you try to reach. You want to come up and get that ball. So you want to fall into a V as much as you can. You know, fall all the way up. So you're going to come up and down. As I said, use whatever ball you want. If you have a heavy ball, a medicine ball, that'd be great. You know, the more weighty the ball is, the more of the exercise you're going to get you know the more resistance you're gonna get in that exercise you know so what you're seeing here also this is working your arms you know it depends on the weight of the ball you're going backwards like that you're working your shoulders you know working your chest even working your back folding up in a v you're gonna feel a little you know a little pressure in your back you know you're working those muscles back there so basically you're working your entire body when you're doing this exercise so it's not just your core you know you're working everything but the main part is hitting is that center line, the core, you know, and then putting the ball between your legs, working up doctors and the weight of the ball, you're going to be working your legs, you know, your thighs. Remember to take your time with this exercise. You can do it without the ball at first just to get the formation. Okay, remember, form is very important. If you have bad form, you have bad technique. So form is important. And with bad form, you can also hurt yourself, you know, and develop bad habits. So you just want to take your time and just work this exercise. And for starting out, I would work it three sets of 10, you know, just to start out. Just do three sets of 10 and you build yourself up and then you can hit 100 straight, you know, which is, you know, going to take a little time, but you will get there, you know. Just work it nice and slowly, build up that formation and have fun with this.